Assalamu alaikum. Sorry for the confusion. Um, <laughs> Surat al Yunus. And where did I Surat al Nur from? I don't know. Anyway, let's deal with that. Sorry about that, guys. How is everybody? Hope your fasts are going well today. Uh, let's adjust this. I'll put slow mode on anyway. Uh, 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 uh. So, uh, All right, and uh, let's change that to just that for now, so no one's confused. Ramadan's the agenda me, I think. And let me just put the slow mode on as well, inshallah. Anyway, we're back in the house. Apologize for the misunderstanding. Uh, what's going on? Yes, yeah, sorry, Eunice. Sorry, my mistake. Walaikum well, salams to all the salams. Let's start with our Alicia's uh, super chat. The Prophet Sassam said, whoever recites the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah in the night, it's enough for him. MashaAllah. MashaAllah, Tarek, welcome to... So we've got 94 in the house, mashallah. Let's get to 100 and then we can commence. How is everyone doing? Ninety-seven. How many pages is Eunice? Is that it? I'm assuming by Durga you mean Sora. <laughs> yeah, I made a mistake. It's Surat al Yunus. I should have known because one brother, mashallah, in the um, from EF Dawa, he said he's keeping up with me. And um, he said he's on Surat al Yunus. And I was like, Yunus? In fact, he says Surat al Yusuf. So he's, he's ahead of me, alhamdulillah. Mm. 
Okay, let's commence. Um, so we're on uh, the tenth uh, surah, mashallah, on uh, which is Surah Al Yunus. Similar to the previous chapter, this Meccan chapter emphasizes Allah's acceptance of repentance, most notably in the case of the people of Jonah. The pagan claims against the Quran are refuted both in this chapter and the next. The short span of this worldly life and the people's ingratitude to their creator are elaborated upon. The prophet is urged to exercise patience in the face of denial. The stories of Noah's people and Pharaoh's people are cited as cautionary tales to the Meccan deniers, setting the stage for more elaborate warnings in the next chapter. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Alif Lam Ra. These are the verses of the book, Rich in Wisdom. Is it? Is it astonishing to people that we have sent revelation to a man from among themselves, instructing him, warn humanity and give good news to the believers that they will have an honourable status with their Lord? Yet the disbelievers said, indeed, this man is clearly a magician. Surely your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and earth in six days, then established himself on the throne, conducting every affair. None can intercede except by his permission. That is Allah, your Lord. So worship him alone. Will you not then be mindful? To him is your return altogether. Allah's promise is always true. Indeed, he originates the creation and resurrects it so that he may justly reward those who believe and do good. But those who disbelieve will have a boiling drink and a painful punishment for their disbelief. He is the one who made the sun a radiant source and a moon a reflected light with precisely ordained phases so that you may know the number of years and calculation of time. Allah did not create all this except for a purpose. He makes the signs clear for people of knowledge. Surely in the alternation of the day and the night and in all that Allah has created in the heavens and the earth, there are truly signs for those mindful of him. Indeed, those who do not expect to meet us being pleased to contend with this worldly life and who are heedless of our signs, they will have the fire as a home because of what they have committed. Surely those who believe and do good, their Lord, do good, their Lord will guide them to paradise. Through their faith, rivers will flow under their feet in the gardens of bliss, in which their prayer will be glory be to you, O Allah, and their greeting will be peace, and their closing prayer will be all praises for Allah, Lord of all worlds. If Allah were to hasten evil for people as they wish to hasten good, they would have certainly been doomed. But we leave those who do not expect to meet us to one the blind in their defiance. Whenever someone is touched by hardship, they cry out to us, whether lying on their side, sitting or standing. But when we relieve their hardship, they return to their old ways as if they had never cried to us to remove any hardship. This is how the misdeeds of the transgressors have been made appealing to them. We surely destroyed other peoples before you when they did wrong, and their messengers came to them with clear proofs, but they would not believe. This is how we reward the wicked people. Then we made you their successors in the land to see how you would act. When our clear revelations are recited to them, those who do not expect to meet us say to the Prophet, bring us a different Quran or make some changes in it. Say to them, it is not for me to change it on my own. I will only follow what is revealed to me. I fear if I were to disobey my Lord, the punishment of a tremendous day. Say, had Allah willed, I would not have recited it to you, nor would he have made it known to you. I had lived my whole life among you before this revelation. Do you not understand? Who does more wrong than those who fabricate lies against Allah or deny his revelations? Indeed, the wicked will never succeed. They worship besides Allah others who can neither harm nor benefit them, and say, these are our intercessors with Allah. Ask them, O Prophet, are you informing Allah of something he does not know in the heavens of the earth? Glorified and exalted is he above what they associate with him. Humanity was once nothing but a single community of believers, but then they differed. Had it not been for a prior decree from your Lord, their differences would have been settled at once. They ask, why has no other sign been sent down to from him from his Lord? Say, O Prophet, the knowledge of the unseen is with Allah alone. So wait, I too am waiting with you. 
when we give people a taste of mercy after being afflicted with a hardship. They swiftly devise plots against our revelations. Say, O Prophet, Allah is swift in devising punishment. Surely our angels record whatever you devise. He is the one who enables you to travel through land and sea. And it is so happens that you are on ships, sailing with a favorable wind, to the passengers' delight. Suddenly the ships are overcome by a gale wind, and those on board are overwhelmed by waves from every side, and they assume they are doomed. They cry out to Allah alone in sincere devotion. If you save us from this, we will certainly be grateful. But as soon as he rescues them, they transgress in the land unjustly. O oh, humanity, your transgression is only against your own souls. There is only brief enjoyment in this worldly life. Then to us in your return, and then we'll inform you of what you used to do. The life of this world is just like rain. We send up from the sky, producing a mixture of plants which humans and animals consume. Then just as the earth looks its best, perfectly beautified, and its people think they have full control over it, there comes to it our command by night or by day. So we mow it down as if it never flourished yesterday. This is how we make the signs clear for people who reflect. And that Allah invites all to the home of peace and guides whoever he wills to the straight path. Those who do good will have the finest reward and even more. Neither gloom nor disgrace will cover their faces. It is they who will be the residents of paradise. They will be there forever. As for those who commit evil, the reward of an evil deed is its equivalent. Humiliation will cover them with no one to protect them from Allah as if their faces were covered with patches of the night's deep darkness. It is they who will be the residents of the fire. They will be there forever. Consider the day we will gather them all together. Then say to those who associate is with Allah in worship, stay in your places, you and your associate gods. We will separate them from each other and their associate gods will say, it is not us what that, it was not us that you worshiped. Allah is sufficient as a witness between each of us that we were totally unaware of your worship. Then and there, every soul will face the consequence of what it had done. They all will be returned to Allah, their true master, and whatever gods they fabricated will fail them. Ask them, O Prophet, who provides for you from heaven and earth? Who owns your hearing and sight? Who brings forth the living from the dead and the dead from the living? And who conducts every affair? They will surely say, Allah, Say, will you not then fear him? That is Allah, your true Lord. So what is beyond the truth except falsehood? How can you then be turned away? And so your Lord's decree has been proven true against the rebellious that they will never believe. Ask them, O Prophet, can any of your associate gods originate creation, then resurrect it? Say only Allah originates creation, then resurrects it. How can you then be deluded from the truth? Ask them, O Prophet, can any of your associate gods guide to the truth? Say only Allah guides to the truth. Who then is more worthy to be followed? The one who guides to the truth or those who cannot find the way unless guided? What is the matter with you? How do you judge? Most of them follow nothing but inherited assumptions and surely assumptions can no way replace the truth. Allah is indeed all knowing of what they do. It is not possible for this Quran to have been produced by anyone other than Allah. In fact, it is a confirmation of what came before and an explanation of the scripture. It is without doubt from the Lord of all worlds. Or do they claim he made it up? Tell them, O Prophet, produce one chapter like it then and seek help from whatever, whoever you can other than Allah, if what you say is true. In fact, they hastily rejected the book without comprehending it and before the fulfillment of its warnings. Similarly, those before them were in denial. See then what was the end of the wrongdoers. Some of them will eventually believe in it, others will not. And your Lord knows best the corruptors. If they deny you, then say, my deeds are mine and your deeds are yours. You are free of what I do and I am free of what you do. Some of them listen to what you say, but can you make the deaf hear even though they do not understand? And some of them look at you, but can you guide the blind even though they cannot see? Indeed, Allah does not wrong people in the least, but it is people who wrong themselves. On the day he will gather them, it will be as if they had not stayed in the world except for an hour of a day, as though they were only getting to know one another. Lost indeed will be those who denied the meeting with Allah and were not rightly guided. Whether we show you, O Prophet, some of what we threaten them with or cause you to die before that, to us is their return and Allah is witness over what they do.
and for every community there is a messenger after their messenger has come judgment is passed on them and all fairness they are not wronged they ask the believers when will the threat come to pass if what you say is true say O prophet i have no power to benefit or protect myself except by the will of allah for each community there is an appointed term when their time arrives they cannot delay it for a moment nor could they advance it tell them O prophet imagine if his torment were to overcome you by night or day do the wicked realize what they are really asking him to hasten will you believe in it only after it overtakes you now you always wanted to hasten it then the wrongdoers will be told taste the torment of eternity are you not rewarded except for what you used to commit they ask you O prophet is this true say yes by my lord most certainly it is true you will have no escape if every wrongdoer were to possess everything in the world they would surely ransom themselves with it they will hide their remorse when they see the torment and they will be judged in all fairness and none will be wronged surely to allah belongs what is in the heavens and the earth surely allah's promise is always true but most of them do not know he is the one who gives life and causes death to him you will all be returned oh humanity indeed there has come to you a warning from your lord a cure for what is in the heart a guide and a mercy for the believers say O prophet in allah's grace and mercy let them rejoice that is far better than whatever wealth they amass ask the pagans O prophet have you seen that which allah has sent down for you as a provision of which you have made some lawful and some unlawful say has allah given you authorization or are you fabricating lies against allah what do those who fabricate lies against Allah expect on judgment day? Surely Allah is ever bountiful to humanity, but most of them are ungrateful. There is no activity you may engage in, O Prophet, or portion of the Quran you may be reciting or any deed you all may be doing, except that we are a witness over you while doing it. Not even an atom's weight is hidden from your Lord on earth or in heaven, nor anything smaller or larger than that, but is written in a perfect record. There will certainly be no fear for the close servants of Allah, nor will they grieve. They are those who are faithful and are mindful of him. For them is good news in this worldly life and the hereafter. There is no change in the promise of Allah. That is truly the ultimate triumph. Do not let their words grieve you, O Prophet. Surely all honor and power belongs to Allah. He is the all-hearing, all-knowing. Certainly to Allah alone belong all those in the heavens and all those on the earth. And what do those who associate others with Allah really follow? They follow nothing but assumptions and do nothing but lie. He is the one who has made the night for you to rest in and the day bright. Surely in this are signs for the people who listen. They say God has offspring. Glory be to him. He is a self-sufficient. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. You have no proof of this. Do you say about Allah what you do not know? Say, O Prophet, indeed those who fabricate lies against Allah will never succeed. It is only a brief enjoyment in this world. Then to us is their return. Then we will make them taste the severe punishment for their disbelief. Relate to them, O Prophet, the story of Noah, when he said to his people, O my people, if my presence and my reminders to you of Allah's signs are unbearable to you, then know that I have put my trust in Allah. So devise a plot along with your associate gods, and you do not have to be secretive about your plot. Then carry it out against me without delay. And if you turn away, remember I have never demanded a reward from you for delivering the message. My reward is only from Allah, and I have been commanded to be the one of those who submit to Allah. But they still rejected him. So we saved him and those with him in the ark and made them successors and drowned those who rejected our signs. See then what was the end of those who had been warned. Then after him, we sent other messengers to their own people and they came to them with clear proofs, but they would have not believed in what they had rejected before. This is how we seal the hearts of the transgressors. Then after these messengers, we sent Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh and his chiefs with our signs, but they behaved arrogantly and were a wicked people. When the truth came to them from us, they said, this is certainly pure magic. Moses responded, is this what you say about the truth when it has come to you? Is this magic? Magicians will never succeed. They argued, have you come to turn us away from the faith of our forefathers so that the two of you may become supreme in the land? We will never believe in you. Pharaoh demanded, bring me every skilled magician. When the magicians came, Moses said to them, cast whatever you wish to cast. When they did, Moses said, what you have produced is mere magic. Allah will surely make it useless, for Allah certainly does not set right the work of the corruptors. 
and Allah establishes the truth by his words, even to the dismay of the wicked. But no one believed in Moses except a few youths of his people, while fearing that Pharaoh had their own chiefs might persecute them. And certainly Pharaoh was a tyrant in the land, and he was a truly a transgressor. Moses said, O oh my people, if you do believe in Allah and submit to his will, then put your trust in him. They replied, In Allah we trust our Lord. Do not subject us to the persecution of the oppressive people and deliver us by your mercy from the disbelieving people. We reveal to Moses and his brother, appoint houses for your people in Egypt. Turn these houses into places of worship. Establish prayer and give good news to the believers. Moses prayed, our Lord, you have granted Pharaoh and his chiefs luxuries and riches in the worldly life, which they abuse to lead people astray from your way. Our Lord, destroy their riches and harden their hearts so that they will not believe until they see the painful punishment. Allah responded to Moses and Aaron, your prayer is answered, so be steadfast and do not follow the way of those who do not know. We brought the children of Israel across the sea. Then Pharaoh and his soldiers pursued them unjustly and oppressively. But as Pharaoh was drowning, he cried out, I believe that there is no God except that in whom the children of Israel believe. And I am now one of those who submit. He was told, now you believe, but you always disobeyed and were one of the corruptors. Today we will preserve your corpse so that you may become an example for those who come after you. And surely most people are heedless of our examples. Indeed, we settled the children of Israel in a blessed land and granted them good lawful provisions. They did not differ until knowledge came to them. Surely your Lord will judge between them on the day of judgment regarding their differences. If you, O Prophet, are in doubt about these stories that we have revealed to you, then ask those who read the scripture before you. The truth has soon shall come to you from your Lord. So do not be one of those who doubt, and do not be one of those who deny Allah's signs, or you will be one of the losers. Indeed, those against whom Allah's decree of torment is justified will not believe, even if every sin were to come to them until they see the painful punishment. If only there had been a society which believed before seeing the torment and therefore benefit from its belief, like the people of Jonah. When they believed, we lifted them from the torment of disgrace in this world and allowed them enjoyment for a while. Had your Lord so willed, O Prophet, all people on earth would have certainly believed every single one of them. Would you then force people to become believers? It is not for any soul to believe except by Allah's leave, and he will bring his wrath upon those who are unmindful. Say, O Prophet, consider all that is in the heavens and earth, yet neither sign nor warners are of any benefits to those who refuse to believe. Are they waiting for anything except the same torment that befell those before them? Say, keep waiting then. I too am waiting with you. Then we saved our messengers and those who believed, for it is our duty to save the believers. Say, O Prophet, O humanity, if you're in doubt of my faith, then know that I do not worship these idols you worship instead of Allah, but I worship Allah, who has the power to cause your death, and I have been commanded, be, I have been commanded, be one of the believers, and be steadfast in faith in all uprightness, and do not be one of the polytheists, and do not invoke instead of Allah what can neither benefit nor harm you, for if you do, then you will certainly be one of the wrongdoers. And if Allah touches you with harm, none can undo it except him. And if he intends good for you, none can withhold his bounty. He grants it to whoever he wills of his servants, and he is the all-forgiving, most merciful. Say, O Prophet, O humanity, the truth has surely come to you from your Lord. So whoever chooses to be guided, it is only for their own good. And whoever chooses to stray, it is only to their own loss. And I am not a keeper over you. And follow what is revealed to you and be patient until Allah passes his judgment, for he is the best of judges. Alhamdulillah. We are now on Surat Al-Ud. Well, I'm not going to do that today. We'll do that tomorrow. MashaAllah. Abdo, how are you, sir? Welcome to the Pride. I need to make the ending a little bit longer. I know I keep saying that. I'm going to do that. Lopez is in the house. How do we know? 1399 Zah. Salam alaikum, my brother.
I love the ending of that story, to be honest with you. I'm going to read that verse again. I really liked it. You know, for those who talk about free will and um, say, oh, oh, you know, if Allah knows in free will and all this business. And listen to this. This, this verse is beautiful. Say, O oh, Prophet, O oh, humanity, the truth that surely come to you from your Lord. So whoever chooses to be guided, it is only for their own good. And whoever chooses to stray, it is only to their own loss. And this is the key as well. And I am not a keeper over you. Love it. I love that verse. <laughs> Brother, I am no Suffolk Quran reading English, Quran reading Arabic translation English. That idiot Pine Creek made a video on your talk about his stream with AP. Who cares? He's irrelevant. Do you know, do you know, honestly, he's irrelevant. We thought initially he was sincere. He's not. What's the point? Uh, yes, we finished Surat al uh, Yunus. We're now uh, on Surat al Hood tomorrow, I think. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Uh, how many pages is Surat al Hood? Okay. It's only eight pages. And Yusuf is how long? Thirteen, fifteen pages. I think we did all right for pace, aren't we? Uh, finally, yeah, no issue there, mate. Yeah, I've, I've I've seen the comments creeping into my um, <laughs> uh, comment section. Oh, it made me laugh, honestly. You could tell him straight away. <laughs> oh, really? Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. I'm I'm pretty cool how people. Um, what they take from this, alhamdulillah. I'm, I'm glad I'm doing it, mashallah. And like I said, if, if there's only five of you watching, I would still do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, subhanAllah. Amazing thing is, the, the, the surah is called Yunus. And yet there's only one portion, tiny portion, where it's even alluded to Eunice. Careful, Khawla.
Um, no, we want to understand the Quran with understanding. Hence, we um, use the Prophet to help us understand it. I would say it's you Quran only Muslims who don't understand the Quran correctly because you use your whims and desires to understand it. That would be my point. Take on it. Yeah, he invited him. He doesn't realize that uh, apostate prophets already been dealt with. So why are you going to bring him to support you? Uh, yeah, I've had hay fever today, to be honest with you. I don't know if you can see. My eyes really bad today. And um, I only realized um, after fasting had begun, when I woke up, that um, I had hay fever. So I'm going to make sure I take my uh, allergy tablets today, inshallah. Oh, alhamdulillah, Adnan. I'm so happy. Again, I'm so happy to see you guys uh, benefiting. Yeah, subhanAllah, third of the uh third of the Quran sorry, third of Ramadan is over um tomorrow, inshallah. There was a guy in SE Dawah who said his whole family listened to you and he's the only Muslim. Wow, that, that's beautiful. MashaAllah. Yeah, no, it, it, it's um, this is a good thing we're doing, MashaAllah. I apologize sometimes I stumble and make a little bit of mistakes here and there. Um, it was never... I, when I realized which teams were in the Super League, the six English teams, and then Barcelona, Real, and them, and AC Milan, and Juventus, and Inter. And it was like, well, that's it. Not, not great at all. What boring uh, lead. What we're having for iftar, um, today we're on the Pizza Flex. So we're having, uh, and when I say Pizza Flex, it's not like a Domino's. But Mrs. makes the base and everything. So we're having pizza. We're having chicken niblets, which are like in a... Um, it's like in a, a sticky sweet kind of sauce. Um, I don't know what it's called. Um, she's making that. What else is she making? Potentially making some onion rings, I think. And do one other thing. I don't know. Really looks really. I'll I'll do a picture. No worries. Yeah, it's true. It's quite funny actually because one of his commenters said, "Because I, you know, because I mentioned in the live on Sunday that you know he's cancelled." I said he's basically cancelled with Muslims by having apostate prophet on. And uh, this guy came in the comments and she said, "Oh, cancelled. He's got nearly twelve thousand subs." And I, like, yeah, but Muslims don't take him seriously. Now he's added a pastor prophet to his kind of portfolio. <laughs> Muslims don't take him seriously, and so he's lost all his power. He might get loads of fanboys from Apostate Prophet and all these atheist jokers, but he's lost the Muslim ear where if he hadn't exposed himself, which alhamdulillah he got exposed and he exposed himself, um, Muslims could have got sucked into that. We could have got sucked into that. We could have invited him on SC Dawa, EF Dawa, all the boys chatting to him, thinking, you know what I mean? No, Not knowing his real agenda. But alhamdulillah he was exposed. And so as far as we're concerned, he's in the wind. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, if I were to speak to him, I would just obviously ask him my usual question. I ask atheists, tell me one thing about what I believe as a Muslim. Can you demonstrate is irrational? Whether you say, oh, you believe in God. Well, that, you can't prove that. So you can't say it's irrational. Anywho. Oh, you made it. Really? Did you buy it or did you make it?
Wa alaikum assalam, Bushra. What's your question of the day? And one, one thing someone else said on his channel, apparently, that, you know, Christians, um, like 500 Christians, well, I think it was a Christian actually said it, something something along the lines. Let me see if I can find it. It was so funny. And it's like, <laughs> oh, here, here we go. Um, Christian apologists. Sure, Doug has interviewed dozens, if not hundreds of Christians over five years on YouTube, but I'll take another crack at him. Muslim apologists. One was enough. We're out. <laughs> now, let me see, read that again. Christian apologists. Sure, Doug has interviewed dozens, if not hundreds of Christians over five years on YouTube, but I'll take another crack at him. Okay, so I think this is a dig at us, the fact that Christians will keep having a go with Doug, whereas Muslims will have experienced him and they say, you know what, they, this ain't for us. And as if that's a detrimental thing. Well, we, we're not going to deal with time wasters. That's it. <laughs> Can you imagine the, what the Christians are saying to him? Oh, Jesus died for you. Oh, my kitty out. Yeah, Pine Creek can have his spy wherever he likes. Who cares? <laughs> He's irrelevant. Um, we've done two streams, and if if you if you're Zayed, um, who I think you are, then. I think you actually came on. Alhamdulillah. Was. Oh, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Does your missus not make any Moroccan dishes? Of course. Inshallah. Probably have tagine on the menu tomorrow, inshallah. Unfortunately, I've been an influence on her. She's been living in England for like 19 years. And um, welcome to England. When it's time to break your fast, uh, I think it's uh, just 11 minutes past today, I think. Um, who's the person who got exposed? Yeah, an atheist called Pine Creek who tried to uh, act all sincere when, in fact, he was being a snake. So so he, he, came, on, uh, he came on to Hamza's Den, one of the arenas, acting all sincere and nice. Then he went creeping back off to his channel and then started made a mockery of what people said, taking things out of context, misrepresenting things for his fanboys and girls. So here's what it is, isn't it? But what do I always say? Dogs are barking, caravan is moving on. <laughs> Hamza's Den, how often do you practice takia? Michael, 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 Michael. There is no such thing as takia in Sunni Islam. There's no way that uh, in Islam we can lie to further an agenda, if that's what you're assuming. 
that's Christianity, my friend. That's what Paul did. If you read the letters, how he became a Jew to the Jews and a Gentile to the Gentiles and told people what they wanted to hear. Um, that's a Christian flex. Um, I think, was it was it Jerome or one of your church fathers that said um, if, if it's something to do with the fact that um, it, it, it can't be, um, what was it? It can't be a lie if the intention is good or something along. So you can basically lie to people if you've got a good intention behind it. This is Islam, mate. We don't have this. So <laughs> if you'd like to give us an explanation of what you think Takiyah is and how it's implemented, the comment section, feel free. I don't mind. But don't embarrass yourself with this kind of comment on my channel, please. It just doesn't fly. Oh, oh mashallah. <laughs> I think I might do sometime. I'll tell you what, though, that onion bhaji was brilliant. It just made the potatoes a bit long, that was all. Mm. Nope. I am a Unitarian and Bible is the truth. Even Hamza believed it. And I think he will revert at some point like that other relative of his. You're talking about what relative of mine? Good luck with that. <laughs> Analyzing me. Uh, yeah, he analyzes me and he takes things I say and takes them out of context and, and then tries to assume he knows what I'm thinking and my reasons and for things. Greetings, Nigeria. Uh, please pin the join link. They might that might help. That might help what? Why did David turn back from Islam? Oh, wait. Oh, my. How did. How. Just so I understand, you think that guy called David Myatt, who was one of those neo Nazis, a founder of Combat 18, um, is a relative of mine? Really? Funny thing is, he does look like me. <laughs> but he's not a relative of mine. There's nothing to do with me. So th this is the thing you see. This, this, you know, this these assumptions and thinking you're clever and smarter and know things. You're just wrong. Just, just, just simply wrong. And I don't think he became a Christian either. I think he created his own religion. If I'm not wrong. He came in to put doubts in our hearts. Yeah, but do we by doing what? <laughs> do anything? Just ask questions. He just what's the word? He 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 did the logical fallacy, appealing to emotion. Oh, why 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 didn't God just do puff rather than letting poor babies drown? As if this was going to demonstrate something. As if to say, oh, so you see, your God is evil. Or, what? That that was his whole flex. Please, the problem of evil brothers dealt with him beautifully it was like 
well, and what? That, that's it. That's your argument. You're coming to Hamza's den. You're coming into the arena, and you and, and you're asking that. Please, please. <clears throat> Was it Eusebius? I thought it was. Was it not Jerome? I thought it was. Um, let me just see. I thought it was Jerome. I could be wrong, though. Um, I. Um, Maybe Jerome was quoting him. I'll find out. I'll find out, and, and I'll, I'll put it in lights. Exactly, Neil. I, I don't know where this... Um, Michael. Well, Michael seems to be living in 1980s, to be honest. Uh, Ramadan Mubarak, watch almost all your videos. I have some thoughts to discuss with you. Anyone, you can message me on Facebook, inshallah. No problem. Hamza's Dan. Nah, we, 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 we don't. We will kick him, but we'll keep him here. And we'll kick him about here. No problem. Uh, what do you do not to feel lonely? Get married and have children, mate. <laughs> Your accent is so beautiful. Which dialect is it? It's a combination, man. It's a mixture. You could never make this accent up. It's got Welsh in there. It's got Mancunian in there. It's got London in there. Yeah, I'd love to visit one of our. This is one of our. Um, you know that we took the reverts on Umrah. We plan to do something similar, but uh, include Masjid Al Aqsa in that. Inshallah. Those <laughs> non-Muslims here look for ammo against Islam. <laughs> he quit resistance soon. <laughs> it must be exhausting. <laughs> In Belgium, it's iftar in four minutes. Oh, mashallah. We, we, we got another uh, 21 minutes. Uh, why don't you have formal debates like the one with Carlton McDonald? Yeah, I will be, inshallah. I, I think I've got one lined up with a Canadian dude um, who's a bit of a Facebook fanatic. On uh, It's amazing, though, because, <laughs> you know, it was so funny, right? He wants, I, he wants to debate me on, is Allah the God of Abraham? Yeah, that, that, that's what the, the video... And I just need to read these surahs that we've read, we've been reading for the past few days, and it's clear that Allah is clearly the, the, the God of Abraham. <laughs> clearly. And then I know he's going to say that, oh, yeah, but the Quran, as if, like, it's not an authority or it's not a... a, a um, I can't bring it as evidence. And yet all his evidence is going to come from the Bible, as if that's authority. It's so funny. It's a madness. But yeah, yeah, no, I, do, I will do some, inshallah. I think it's due. We are. We're kicking him. Michael, happy to correct you anytime, my friend. No problem. So you're wrong about Taqiyya and you're wrong about David Myatt being a relative of mine. You're also wrong about becoming a Christian, I think.
exactly. Which is good. Which is good because sometimes you know when you think you know something so vehemently, and then all of a sudden you realize, oh, flipping it, I was wrong. Then you've got to ask yourself, what else am I wrong about? It's just it's just a natural thing. So that's why we don't no need to just kick Michael. Let Michael stay. Let Michael come and listen to the Quran every day. Well, he's welcome. Maybe Allah will um, soften his heart, inshallah. Well, people in the chat did kind to Michael. No need to no need to fuel a narrative because he'll go running off telling people that oh in the chat they, you know in the you know in the comment section and the Muslims are this and the Muslims are that and the Muslim told me this. Relax, month of Ramadan, months of mercy. We know we kick him about in the chat, no problem, but no need to insult him personally. Let's just deal with what's being said. We can do a good fight with pebbles, it's true. <laughs> Uh, do you, uh, do you, ha, Hamza's Den, have you all or will you consider with your team to visit Pakistan as a state guest? To be honest with you, my brother, I've not even thought about traveling outside of London <laughs> at the moment due to COVID. Who knows what the future will bring, inshallah? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, ho hopefully in the summer inshallah Co I keep saying this COVID permitting Um, she's not really been doing anything with it. I'm going to help her after Ramadan. I'm going to um, do some of my um, arc survival um, clips and stuff and do something with her, inshallah. An excuse for me to have a go. Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you, Ahi? Hope you're well, man. Hope fasting is going well for you. Twelve fifty in Albuquerque. Wow. Inshallah. Watch out for Sheikh Yusuf. Uh, which should I follow? The prayers are from our local mosque or from the website Islam. <laughs> I, I, I would roll with your nearest mosque, to be honest, and stick to it. Don't 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 flick between them. Don't worry, mate. You'll be saying I used to be Unitarian, but now I'm a Muslim. Don't worry. We'll get you there. Cheers, Abdul. Thanks for the support, my man. He believes dinosaur eggs were carried onto the ark. Oh, thank you, Mohammed Abdul Khair. Sorry, 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 sorry. I thought you was talking about a link to come on to the stream. Forgive me, forgive me. You're right. Let me just do that anyway. Yeah. So anybody who wishes to become a member of the channel and support what I'm doing and get those cool emojis, um, if people could give a nice uh, demonstration of those images that the people get to use uh, once they become a member. Um, as well as being, being able to join into the members' live-only stream. 
um, then I'm going I'm to put a link in the chat that you can click. It's two ninety nine a month to be part of the gang. Um, but alhamdulillah, is, um, it's all good. And you're benefiting all the stuff we do, any shahadas we get, any, any nasiha, any people who are inspired to pick up their deen again after, you know, alhamdulillah, you're sharing the rewards of it. Because I've said many, many times that everybody can do dawah or has the time or the ability or the um, opportunity. So alhamdulillah, um, Allah makes it easy that you can still get the rewards of the dawah without um, having to. So I'm just going to pin it quickly. Um, right, so it's pinned. I'm working, I've only got three more minutes, actually. Anyway, so I pinned it. So anyone who wants to join, click the link, and away we go, inshallah. No, not him, not him, not him, not him. Different Canadian dude. <laughs> Indeed there are <laughs> But it's good because they're listening to the Quran uh, Yeah my email is Hamzasden4 At gmail.com That's <laughs> it, uh, so you gotta get in the gang or in the pride. Um uh, one last question, bro. Sural Talak 65.4. Can you explain this verse? No. Maybe when we get to it. No, nah, probably not, actually. No, probably not. It's not this stream's not about that. Um, why are you not streaming on EF Tower? Me, why is EF Tower, EF Tower not streaming today? Then, Um, but would you be right with this? Hamza's Denfall or Hamza's Denfall? The second one, the latter. No apostrophe. All right, guys. Um, it's been a pleasure as usual. Um, we'll continue tomorrow with Surat al Hood. How many pages is that? One, two, three, seven pages. How many pages is Yusuf? Fifteen pages altogether. Do we need to? We'll see. Inshallah. Okay, guys. Um, yep. See you tomorrow. Have a blessed day fasting if you've just started your fast. Um, have a may Allah accept your du'as if you're just finishing your fast, um, and may Allah accept your fasts, inshallah. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Send on the lion.
I'm still here. Sorry. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. No send on the line.